If the United States had become a monarchy, it would have had a completely different political system than the one it has today. Instead of a president and a Congress, there would be a monarch who held most of the political power. The exact structure of this system would depend on who the monarch was, but it would likely involve a system of nobility with dukes, earls, and other titles. One of the most significant changes to US history if it had become a monarchy would be the elimination of the two-party system. Without the need for elections, the monarch would not be beholden to any particular political party or ideology, which would significantly impact the way that policies were made and enforced. Additionally, the role of the judiciary would likely be different, with the monarch or the nobility taking on some of the functions of the Supreme Court. It is difficult to say who would have become the first monarch of the United States, but it is likely that the Founding Fathers would have been involved in the decision. George Washington, who was beloved by many Americans, would have been a natural choice for the first monarch. However, it is also possible that someone from a European royal family could have been chosen, or that a new American noble family would have been created. One of the most significant challenges to a monarchy in the United States would be the notion of meritocracy, which has been a central tenet of American society since its founding. If the U.S. had become a monarchy, it would have been difficult to reconcile the idea of social mobility and the notion of nobility based on birthright. This tension would have had far-reaching consequences for society and the economy. Another significant change would have been the relationship between the United States and other countries. With a monarch in charge, the country would have had a different type of leadership and would have been viewed differently on the global stage. It is possible that the U.S. would have been more closely aligned with the United Kingdom or other European countries, or it may have developed closer ties with other monarchies around the world. There is also the question of how the monarch would have dealt with issues of slavery and civil rights. It is possible that a monarch would have been more inclined to take a hard line on these issues, but it is also possible that they would have been more conservative in their approach. It is difficult to say for sure, but it is likely that these issues would have been handled differently than they were in the U.S.'s current political system. Another significant change would have been the role of religion in society. The U.S. has always had a strong tradition of religious freedom, but under a monarchy, this may not have been the case. Depending on the monarch's beliefs, certain religions may have been favored over others, which could have had a significant impact on society and culture. In terms of economics, it is difficult to say how things would have played out under a monarchy. However, it is possible that the country may have been more centralized and less market-oriented, with more government control over the economy. This could have led to a different type of economic growth and development than what we have seen in the U.S. today. Finally, it is worth considering the impact that a monarchy would have had on American culture. Without the tradition of democracy and self-governance, the U.S. would have developed a very different sense of national identity. It is possible that the country may have developed a stronger sense of cultural unity and identity, but it is also possible that it may have struggled with questions of national identity and belonging. With the establishment of a monarchy, the United States would have had to grapple with issues of succession and the role of the monarch in government. There would have been no guarantees that the monarch would have been successful in maintaining the power and stability of the country, particularly given the cultural and historical ties to democracy. However, it is interesting to consider the possibility of a different path for the United States, one in which it followed a more traditional route to political power. Ultimately, while the United States becoming a monarchy is purely speculative, it is important to consider how different decisions in the past could have led to vastly different outcomes in the present.